The Catchpole Engineering Company of Stanton in Suffolk was an early pioneer of mechanised sugar beet lifting. William Catchpole had developed a single row lifter before the war, and in 1947 he formed a new company, mainly farmer-backed, to continue making his machine. In 1954, Catchpole launched the extremely successful Cadet Side Elevator Harvester. Output was claimed to be three acres in an eight-hour day, and the design changed very little from the time this cadet was produced in 1960 until production ceased. The cadet was initially only available with shares, like this machine, but Opel lifting wheels were offered from 1960 and became a popular option in some areas. Like most side elevator harvesters, the cadet has an offset feeler wheel type topper and tops one row ahead, so the tractor's right-hand wheels run in the beat. A land wheel driven feeler wheel rides up over the beat crowns to constantly alter the height of the knife for each individual beat. Behind the topper, rubber paddles clear the tops away. Two steel digging shares lift the beat on the following parts. Depth is set by two wheels, which can also be steered by an extra operator when harvesting on side hills. From the shares, the beat are elevated up between two rod link elevators. Halfway up, the top web is replaced by a stationary scrubbing trace to remove more soil. At the top of the main digging elevator, the beat pass on to the discharge elevator which drops the beat into the trailer running alongside. In the early 60s, Catchpole reported that nearly half of the mechanised beet crop in Britain was lifted by cadets, and that Catchpole harvesters were also at work worldwide. F.A. Standen and Sons of Ely were already producing a range of sugar beet harvesters when they launched the legendary Rapide in 1962. Described as a big step forward for light land growers, it was Standen's first harvester to use lifting wheels, which were coming into fashion at the time. However, they still recommended share lifters for heavy, sticky land, and in 1968, the Rapide also became available with digger shares. Designed with low draft in mind, the streamlined Rapide needed a tractor with just 30 horsepower. By 1964, the cost was 430 pounds delivered. Like the cadet, the Rapide tops one row ahead with a land wheel driven feeler wheel and adjustable knife and rubber flails to scatter cut tops.
Maynard type lifting wheels squeeze and pull the beet from the ground, with lifting depth controlled using the tractor's hydraulics. Rubber flippers knock the beet from the wheels onto a fully enclosed rod link elevator, with Standon's wavy clean links and a top scrubbing web for cleaning. The discharge elevator delivers the beet into a trailer at a height of 7 foot 8 inches, and like the cadet, this rapide has done a good job of retaining tap roots. Vicon of New Venep in Western Holland has always had a reputation for innovative machinery. Their sugar beet harvester was no different and used a unique lifting system invented by a Dutch arable farmer, Cornelis Stekete. The Vicon Stekete single row harvester appeared in 1960 when it was imported into the UK by Vicon Agricultural Machinery of Ipswich. The original harvester was strengthened and improved in 1962 to become the super, as represented by this tidy example. Like most of its contemporaries, the Vicon Stekete tops a row ahead of lifting with a PTO-driven feeler wheel and knife, although the cut tops are left in place until the next round when rubber flippers clear them away. The lifting gear itself really set the harvester apart from British-built machines. It uses a PTO-driven rotary beater, or agitator, which pulls the roots from the soil and also cleans. Shoes on the agitator rotate at 300 RPM and tap the beet from side to side, breaking small hairy roots and allowing the beet to be lifted cleanly. The rotating action also helps to propel the machine which was said to excel in wet conditions and on heavy land. Once loosened, the agitators throw the roots backwards into a rotating cleaning drum. This transfers the beat onto the adjustable height discharge elevator. The harvester can also be steered by an extra operator if needed. Vicon also offered a two-row harvester from the late 60s. Production had finished by the mid-70s.